We're going to deal with these lines inside of triangles again, and we're going to draw all three of a certain line. Um, let's go after three medians. Medians need, we need to find the midpoint of each side, and we'll do that by drawing circles. I don't want to draw, you know, six circles, two for this side, two for B and C, and two for AC. So I just want to draw three circles that are big enough. Uh, 7.22 is my one side, so I need to draw circles that are at least four, because that's more than halfway. So if I draw circles size four, they will all cross. Now, when you're doing this on paper, you don't necessarily need to draw, you don't necessarily need to draw these segments that I'm about to draw, but I have to at least find these intersections. So, I gotta find where these two circles cross, E and D, and we just wanna find the midpoint of that side. Well, that midpoint is where this perpendicular bisector crosses, so it's right there. So if you're doing it on paper, you really don't actually have to draw that line. You do got to put a ruler down or a straight edge and find this point, point F. Okay. Now let's do the other sides too. Uh, we got to find where this has a bisector. Uh, where is it? It's, it goes to H. All right, and where does that cross the side? There, okay, now I need to find the midpoint of this side. And it's right there, so I'll use the intersect tool. So my midpoints are F, I, and L. All right, now we want to draw the medians, all three medians. Median goes from a midpoint to the other vertex. So now I want to draw a segment that goes from F to C. And let's color that, make that a little bigger too. All right, and I need to draw the midpoint from I over to A, and the midpoint from L over to B. And notice, they all cross in one location. That's why these things are special. So if I find where that location is, that location is M. Neat that it was M, but it does not always come out that way. Um, that is the intersection of three medians at that point right there. Now, the specialness of that is, that is called the centroid. That is where, come on, C-E-N-T-U-R-Y-D, that is called a centroid, and what that actually means is, um, it's a center of mass, it's like a pivot point. If I have a device that's this shape, two-dimensional, that is the best pivot point, the rotation point, the, the balance point. So that is what medians do. They find us a balance point, a pivot point, a center of mass, a centroid. All those things mean the same thing. So that is three medians. Again, find the midpoint of each side. That takes two circles the same size to find that perpendicular bisector. Yes, it does. And then draw from the midpoint to the vertex. Now, if you remember some, some other time, these three perpendicular bisectors actually do cross at a point. That circumcenter, it's a different place because we're using different lines. That was the perpendicular bisector itself. This is used the perpendicular bisector to find a midpoint, the bisector aspect of it. And draw from the midpoint to a vertex. Draw a median. Where those three medians cross, that's called the centroid, the center of mass or the pivot point.